You can use the editor show folding controls setting to make VS Code always render the folding controls. Now the folding controls are rendered over here in the gutter, right next to the line number. There are these little chevrons, and when I click on one, you can see that I've been able to fold my code. Now by default, the folding controls are only rendered when my cursor is actually over the line numbers over here. So as soon as my cursor goes back to the editor area, the folding controls are hidden for a little bit of a cleaner view. They're only going to show up when my cursor is actually on these line numbers or over here in the gutter. Now we can use this setting to actually make them always be visible. And this might be helpful if you're kind of wanting to understand what is foldable in the current file or what the fold command will actually do. To change this setting, I'm going to open up my settings file with control comma or command comma on Mac. And I'm going to search for show folding controls. And I want the editor show folding controls setting here. Again, the default is mouse over. Let's just change this to always instead. So when I change this to always and then switch back to the file, you can see that the folding controls are always going to be rendered no matter where my cursor actually is. Again, some use cases for this is that I can now kind of see what is actually foldable in my current file. Another use case is, let's say that my cursor was on this line here and I was going to run the fold command. I can now just glance over and kind of see what that command would actually do. So I can look here and see that, hey, this is the closest folding control. So when I run the fold command, just by going to the command palette with control shift P or command shift P and saying fold, it's going to go to that uh, fold just right above where my cursor was and actually fold that block. So that's the editor show folding control setting for VS Code.